The Duke of Potatoville putting up his world title against Showtime Shane Black's Extremer title. And you throw Talk Soup Gaiman, Chris Reese into the mix. You got one hell of a main event. Any falls count anywhere, anything goes, Tony. I am hyped for this match. I am hyped too, man. You know we got Showtime Shane Black. 
he you know he was like the pedestal that got the chopping block he was on the top of that and duke climbed his way through the hatred every superstar we threw at him hell he went through a multi-universe pretty much match with the hatred a use your illusion match just to get to that title and at the end of the day that worm chris reese came in the middle of it it's like you get that golden apple you bite into it and then pop goes the worm and you know chris reese is inserting himself into this i feel like it was a plan all along for him to get into the title picture more and more so i think it's anybody's ball game in that match they're all top competitors honestly will history repeat itself at last year's battle mania Showtime Shane Black walked out with the TKWA World Championship. Will history repeat itself? We will find out, Tony. Let's get down to our first card here. First match. Let's go. Holy mackerel! <laughs> our first match sees the newly formed NWO Rage and El Creepo. Teaming up against the newly formed Canadian Wrecking Crew between Trent Killer Chris, Jacobite James, and Kyle Merriman. Let's go to the promos, then down to ringside for more action. Oh god, piece of shit! Hello! My name is El Creepo. El Creepo, number one! Luchador of all times. El Creepo, now part of the NWO. Me and Rage, we are going to fuck up Jack Off James and Trent Killer Bitch. Fuck you! I spit on you! You know what I'm in the mood for? Some ass fucking! Some breaking of backs and making you little bitches humble. Prepare for war. Me and Rage, fuck you up, cause I'll creep on number one. Fuck you. It sucks that you have to deal with stupid GMs. He's not that bright in the head, and people say I'm crazy. You see, he thinks he's gonna punish us, putting us in a table match? <laughs> you see, but me and Mr. Creeper, the NWO, it's all type of match. And he doesn't stand a chance. He thinks this is gonna destroy us. He thinks. He can't stop it. He can't stop the plan. We're going to win that table match. Easy. But it's only the beginning. It doesn't matter that if you get a new GM, it doesn't matter what you do. You can't stop the NWO. And TKWA, you can't stop it. Nobody could stop it. <laughs> Jack a bite coming at you, baby. What's going on? TKWA, last time I caught you all, I had respectively lost my TKWA championship match against Duke of Potatoville. The champ of all champs, the absolute, the legend. Dude, congrats on that win, my dude. We will see each other again soon. For sure. Hell yeah. Yo, but me and some lads here, some locals, we've come together to 
build something new. There's a division here at TKWA that doesn't make any sense. Where the hell is the good in the tag team division? Me and Trent Killer Chris and Kyle Merriman have come together. To build a team, to build an indestructible force called the Canadian Wrecking Crew. <laughs> and you better watch your back, rage, and Ass clown. I don't even know who you are, but you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. After we put you in the ground, after we wreck you, there won't be any need to understand or know who the hell you are. Because after we're done with the tag team division, there won't be anybody left to take us down. TKWA Tag Team Division, I'm talking about you as a whole. We're coming for you. We are coming for you. Because when we go to war, we all go to war. C W C <laughs> and Killer Chris here. And when one of us goes to war, we all go to war. That's right, Trent Killer Chris. Jacobite James, the king of old school Kyle Merriman, we fellow countrymen have joined up together to form the Canadian Wrecking Crew. And tonight, at Battle Mania 2, me and Jacobite, we stake our claim for the tag team titles. We send those two cartoon characters tumbling through the tables and into obscurity just like the Guerreros just like every freaking tag team around here the state of the tag team division is pathetic your example is the Guerreros with their 5th grade humor their lame jokes and their lack of charisma me and Jacobite James here, we are going to be the standard in tag team wrestling here in TKWA. Tonight we send the two little goons, the red-faced rage, the uh, ass-fucker El Creepo. Well, we send them back to the locker room to send a message to whoever wins those tag team titles here tonight that we're coming. The Canadian Wrecking Crew. It's about to fuck shit up here in TKWA, and there's not a whole lot anyone can do about it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, bitches. Here we go, baby. First match of the night. Tag team table match. The, the newly formed NWO. El Creepo and Rage making their way out to the ring the first. Of Here we go. Look at that. There is a new fire behind El Creepo. I can see it in his promo tonight. He was comical, but he wasn't as comical as he usually is. Then you got Rage. 
you know, still the same WWE, WCW shirt that I've seen in every video. Uh, we might have to take a go fund me to get him some new clothes, guys. You know, <laughs> just to help a guy out. I'm not doing that to be an asshole. Everybody needs a little help. All right. Well, I don't know how the hell, but we got 42 live viewers here on Facebook. We're also live on Twitch, YouTube, Trovo, Nemo TV, D Live. We're live at your mom's house. What's up? Yeah, I got a question. You know, I asked Trend Kill if that hot girl was available for a date after the show. <laughs> Mama June. Mama June. Hey. <laughs> you like it with a mustache, eh? Let me let me get a few drinks, and you won't give a shit. So the rules of the match are such. First competitor to go through the table loses for their team. Great way to kick off Battle Mania 2, folks. The biggest show of the year. This will be interesting to see. The newly formed Canadian Wrecking Crew. Jacobite James, Trent Killer Chris, and Kyle Merriman. Now in a faction. You know, the Canadian wrecking crew, man, they, they're they gonna be a force to reckon with. You got strong competitors here. You got TKF. You got Jacobite Games that been on the, he had a title shot already and the kid's pretty new still. Yeah. And then you got Kyle Miriam, our first ever fighting on a champion. The pillar of TKWA. The original scum dog berserker. You know, what more can you ask for? They're well rounded. Who else is going to join them in the future? Factions only grow over time. Things Who do we gonna, be looking at? Things are going to get interesting now for sure. Now that we got a couple factions in TKWA. I smell a war brewing. I was going to ask that, you know. Do you think it's going to be a war? Tits, I think we're in for a rocky year coming up, honestly. Not that we're going downhill. Quality production, no. Storyline-wise... Um, honestly, action, I feel like it's going to be nuts this year. I don't know about you, but I think we're in for a treat. Jason the Rose, brother. thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to TKWA. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Welcome in. There is no refunds. Take a seat. Enjoy the show. We got fellow TKW superstars in the chat. We got Mr. G. Holy Mackerel. <laughs> We got Bry Guy, Bry Guy dropping in with a like. Thank you very much, Bry Guy. There we go, match astounded. Jacobite and freaking El Creepo ran into each other. Trend Killer's going after Rage. Just shot for shot. The big man is not going to be able to do that. Thank you for the share, Brian. Irish whipped Jack to the corner by El Creepo. Oh. And Rage getting get in there. Chris. But, but nope, they changed tone. Rage, go behind. Back body drop by Rage to Trent Killer Chris. Jacobite with a huge punt kick to the ribs of El Creepo. Remember, folks, this is a table match. Whoever goes through the table first uh, loses. Jacobite James to the top rope. What's he going to do here? Holy mackerel! Oh, 450 <laughs> corkscrew off the top rope to <laughs> El Creepo. Damn, but El Creepo hooks the leg. He well, He's not done. Holy shit, El Creepo got right back up. El Creepo with the head scissors to take down on TKS. El Creepo showing off that luchador style. Big clothesline landed by Jacobite James. Rage is seeing you. stars on the outside of the arena, or ring. I'm telling you, Tits, there's a new fire in El Creepo. There is. I bet you he's sick of losing matches. I am I mean, if, we, if there was a record for that, he would be the number one in TKWA. <laughs> <laughs> Trent Killer Chris, what's he thinking of here? Hoist him up. Ricochets him off the top rope. Jacobite's going on to the outside. Is he going for the table? Yep. He's bringing some wood in, baby. Uh-oh, TKS taking too much time to gloat, and Rage takes advantage. Which, oh yeah, I see some pauses in Jacobite, almost like his promos. <laughs> Big body slam landed. Rage on Come the on canvas. Universe. Let's make some noise for these superstars. Let's go, guys. You are watching TKWA Battle Mania 2, our biggest big event shot. of the He's year. taking the big man off his feet. 
but oh, big belly to belly. That's a lot of weight to go down on somebody, I tell you. Rage trying to set up a table there. Big oh, power oh, slam oh, landed oh, by Rage. Trent Killer did, Chris did, is did on the, the canvas. Whole, did you feel the arena vibrate just now? Oh, hell shit. yeah. We could feel it from the outside of the ring here. Big power bomb by El Creepo on TKS. I gotta give props to both these teams. They're coming in strong. They're on fire. It's going back to back. Uh oh, there's a table right there. Uh oh, bad. uh oh, uh oh! The table didn't break though. By some miracle of slut magic, the table didn't break. Rules clearly state the table must break. I Here thought it was over there, Tony. I did too, man. We got strong tables. We don't do that. WWE, you saw the table in half shit. You go yeah. to the table for real. We got real. We got buffet tables. Mm -hmm. They're on sale at, at Home Depot, 1995. Jack and Mike James landing a big knee on the back of Rage's head. What's Trent Killer uh, Chris doing guillotine. here? Guillotine. Trent Killer. It's hard to call this match, Tits. Holy shit. A lot of action going on. Trent Killer setting up a table, it looks like. He's going after El Creepo. El Creepo, fuck back, man. You can do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What what's, what's. Oh, but El Creepo, I don't know. Di diverting the uh, the action to the outside of the ring. Looks like Jacobite's setting up for something, though. That big forearm smash landing on El Creepo. The chosen one for um, by Jacobite Games. Look at that. Trend killer, man. The Canadian Wrecking Crew is doing it. They're wrecking it. As They're wrecking say. it. Oh, what's Chris going to do here? He's got him in between the ropes, setting him up for that DDT. Jacobite with a big leg drop on El Creepo. Trend killer with a big rope DDT onto Rage. Holy crap, man. Canadian Wrecking Crew has NWO against the ropes here. Jacobite oh, setting up a table. They need to make a comeback. They need to regroup, get together, maybe talk a little plan on the outside tits. I don't know. Rage trying to fight back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. what is Jacobite doing? Oh, hang him on the rope! He really should have took that time to put him through the table. El Creepo, what is he doing? Oh, shit, TKS has stopped it. Oh, <laughs> you just see any action close by the table, you think they're going through the table. I know, man, I'm nerved off. Oh, the table just gave way, but oh, it's not broken. Didn't break. El Creepo showing off his luchador skills, but Jacobite introduces him to the fucking smooth edge of that table. Can we say, hell yeah, El Creepo with that drop kick? I don't give a shit, man. That was beautifully done. What the hell was that? A face buster? Modified face buster? I'm always impressed with Jacobite's moveset. I am. Tits, both members of NWO are outside on the floor just now, but El Creepo came back. Fisherman suplex, baby. Landing on the unforgiven pads on the outside. That's concrete under the pads. Rage Ooh. getting involved. Met with a drop kick by Jacobite El James. El Creepo rip burst into the stands. Jacobite Games is just taking it to both. By El Creep I'm sorry, Rage just reversed and threw them in the ring. He's going up against both of the Canadian Wrecking Crew again. This guy is freaking insane. Irish whip off the ropes. They run into each other. Jacobite uh -oh. trying to introduce him to the table. El Creepo uh -oh. needs to step in. Uh-oh. El Creepo needs to get in there. And he sends him crashing through the table. El Creepo just stood there like a dummy. My question is, will was El Creepo done? Did he, does he not give a damn? Is there already some trouble brewing in paradise? Or is, was El Creepo this dazed? Maybe he was concussed. I'm taking that head move from Jacobite. It makes you wonder for sure. I mean, El Creepo Holy totally could have stopped that. <laughs> well, congratulations <laughs> to the Canadian Wrecking Crew making a big I statement here to tonight. The that you know, they I'm are the new faction on the block, and they're ready to take over, baby.
I'm looking forward to the future with this team. I want to see what they bring. I can't wait to see what the next chapter is. And I got a feeling the NWO is not done with them. Uh, I smell a war brewing for sure, Tony. Uh, I, I think I think shots were fired just now. Yeah, I think shots were fired. You're exactly right. Um, Honestly, one hell of a start to the biggest card of the year, Battle Mania 2. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a little moment and introduce a new player coming up on the scene. And his name is Super Smooth Sully Holy Mecca! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? It's your number one gaming guru coming to TKWA. When I step into the ring, everyone, everywhere will begin to sing. You grab my hair and I'll start to do the rude boy ting. Smoking, choking, throwing down. Get ready to get funky and shake booty town. So come March 13th and Battle Mania 2, I, Sully Dully, will make you believe because you will never. <sighs> well, Tony, I am excited for this match. This is going to be a 15-minute Iron Woman match. Whoever gets the most pinfalls or submissions walks away with the Hag Championship. The Winter Witch came to TKWA Survival in her debut match, winning the Hag Division title. Pixie also made her debut in that same match, but came up short. It's been a long road to get back to the number one contendership, but Pixie is ready to dethrone the dominant Winter Witch. What do you think, Tony? Honestly, these two have been brewing back and forth. This has been coming since the day Pixie walked in, since the day the Winter Witch walked in. Now the title's on the line. The biggest prize of them all the Hag Division Championship. Honestly, both of them are fighters. The Witch, now she has that power. You got Pixie, who's a fit fighter. She ain't afraid of anything. I think this is going to be a hell of a match. Let's go to the promos and down to ringside for more action. Hey, everyone. I don't know about you guys, but my least favorite season of the year is winter. It's cold, it's dark, it's dreary, and honestly, everyone seems really miserable around this time of the year. I can't really think of one person who's not ready for winter to be gone and for summer to be here with the sunshine and bikini weather. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to see some bikinis? But the coldness of winter... And the fact that everybody wants it gone brings me to my opponent tonight, Winter Witch. I feel the exact same way about you. When I hear your name or I even just see your face, it's just dreary and dark and cold and miserable. And Winter, that's exactly how you're going to feel when you leave the ring tonight without the Hag Championship belt. I've been busting my ass and I've been putting in the work and training. I didn't take any time off like you did because you didn't have any competition. I take my job seriously, my skills seriously, and my work seriously. I don't have time to play childish games. And also, let me let you know something, honey, that tonight you will have that competition that you've been seeking. I haven't given up. I refuse to give up until that belt is mine. I also hope that you brought the ass tonight to back up your mouth because clearly I have plenty to back up mine. And just a little side note to end this on, you may call yourself Winter Witch, but honey, I'm Miss Bitch and you've done fucked with the wrong person. I don't know what part of the world you're from, but down here, you don't piss off a Southern woman. You'll find out tonight and I'll see you in the ring. So, hey, uh, almost forgot I had a match this time. I mean, not like any of the other ones have been memorable at all, but sitting here the whole time since I've come in. Still champ. Uh, 
Yeah. So, Pixie, you would like to run your mouth all the time, all the time. And the last time, I believe, you threatened a witch with fire. <laughs> Newsflash for you, honey. It's kind of hard to burn something when there's a fire, an inferno blazing inside. And besides, I come from the ancestors that you couldn't burn. I'll see you soon, honey. Have fun. The following contest is an Iron oh. Woman match. Oh shit, Tony, this is going to be a good match. 15-minute Iron Woman match. You know, this was my uh, doing, and I'm happy about that. The stipulation should be really good. It's going to give us a chance to see what they both bring to the table. Well, there will be a definitive winner. Even if the uh, timer ends and they have a draw, we're going to go sudden, uh, sudden death over time. Yep, I agree. I definitely agree on that. Um, we got 48 know. live viewers in the house on Facebook. What is up, people? Hey, oh, we're live you, you also know. on Twitch, YouTube, D Live, Trovo, and Nemo TV. Hell yeah. You know, you know something? Can I get your attention, Universe? We're going to up the ante. The loser of this match is going to be suspended for an indefinite time. I, I'm going to figure out how long. But guess what? We're up in the ante here. I feel like this match needs a little more oomph. This is our WrestleMania, so we're going to add something bigger to it. Loser gets suspended on top of it. Look at Tony stroking his ego over there. No, I want to <laughs> add I want to add some more to it, you know, Tits? It's that big show. There should be consequences for losing. There you go. Can't argue with the GM. GM just told you. Here we go, the uh, reigning, defending TKWA Hag Champion. He came in the TKWA Survival and dethroned Nixie from Dreadful Gaming to become the new Hag Champion and has been dominant ever since. That was a big moment for her, honestly, for the Winter Witch. Nobody would see that coming. And after that day, it's so sad. The witch did something to it, honestly, but we won't know. Skaldron's fame is now following. <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you. Skaldron, thank you very much for the follow. Who would want to see that in a bikini? Damn! Fix it! What's going on in that chat over there? God damn! <laughs> the witch is humming her little chant right now. It's kind of hypnotizing. We want to give a big shout out to uh, TKWA legend Zach Retro Mansion. He's in the chat. What's up, Zach? Thanks for joining us here today. Hell yeah. The lawnmower riding, beers drinking, zero shit giving. Zach Retro Mansion is in the house. It's, it's nice to see some of the TKWA legends come out and. Uh, Show some support for the future superstars. You know, Pixie's talking a lot of game, but I'm sure Pixie's been on the floor too in the ring. Just saying. <laughs> We're gonna give it for both superstars here, you know what I mean? They're both putting their bodies on the line to entertain you. So I gotta give hats off to both these women. They're going 15 minutes. You know what the training's like to get ready for an Iron Man match? Yeah. Yeah, big shout out to the Winter Witch, our dominant TKWA Hag Champion for many months now. Yes. The biggest stage of them all, you know what I mean? This is the biggest stage of them all. Battle Mania. Nothing compares to the energy that's going through the arena right now. You know, Tits, for real, it's like huge. You feel that? Electricity in the air? Yeah, I mean, we are in the biggest arena, sold out crowd. No fucks given about coronavirus today. Really? If you haven't noticed, we upgraded a little bit here. The game looks so beautiful on PC, baby. He says That's he's what not it's a all there for. He says he's not a PC guy, but I say otherwise. 
I made the switch the on PS4 to From Steam. Gainesville, Georgia. I'll tell you, it looks so much better on Z. PC. Let's go. I'm ready. The and universe is the ready. The, the Challenger, Melissa, Pixie Corps, ready the to take Lynch. on the dominant champion, Winter. the Winter Witch. That's what it's about right there. That belt right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is the top prize. That is saying you are the king of the mountain. Well, the queen of the mountain in this case. Indeed. Look count, at that show. Count outs and disqualifications do count in this match. So if someone gets disqualified, that's a point against them. You got 15 minutes. The clock starts now. Pixie taking a, cut, a quick kick to the guy and the chop. The Big champ spear. spear. Holy crap, the champ is stomping away on Pixie. These two aren't holding nothing back so far. Pixie kicking out of it. Pixie we're trying to lift up the Winter Witch with a big suplex, bringing her down. Slams her on the back, big chop, landing. Ooh, big knee to the head. Look at that one crowd guy dancing over there. You see that tits? They're having fun up in here. Somebody, security, go get that guy. See if he's on drugs. <laughs> Irish whip reversal to the corner. The Witcher Witch with those hard chops, but Pixie throwing her back in the corner, hitting her in the gut, reversal. Damn. Um, oh, Pixie with the reversal with a drop, toe hold. Went to Witch grabbing her face. These Pixie two are putting on, on a wrestling oh. clinic. What an electric chair drop. Pixie feeling it here. Let's go. Titch, you better not be one side. I, 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 I hear you saying Pixie quite a bit. I don't hear you saying Winter Witch. What, what's going on here? I, I have no uh, no quarrels against the Winter Witch. She's been dominant for months. And I believe she could get the job She's done taken. very easily here tonight. Oh, Pixie reverses the... Pixie Big job. You hear that echo in the arena. That's a throwback right there. Rick Fair would be damn proud. He'd be wooing his ass off right now seeing that shot. Yeah. Pixie picking up the Winter Witch, slamming her down on the canvas. That is beautiful. Pixie DDTing that leg. Trying to jar up the knee there. Pixie's on fire tonight. I told you, she's a spitfire. She hasn't slowed down at all. She's just been the getting better. Ever combat. since TKWA survival, she's just been getting better and better and better. So you can't deny that either, Tony. She came in a rookie, and now she's a challenger. And we got 12 minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. 0-0 zero, zero so far in this Iron Woman match. Holy shit, already? Where the hell's the time go? Big chops landing. Pixie choosing her shot, but they exchange chops. Irish whip off the ropes. Big clothesline by the Winter Witch. I command thee to embrace the darkness. Oh, Got Winter the Witch king of old up. school, Kyle Ooh. Merriman in the house. I command thee to embrace big the darkness. Up. Going up to the second rope. Oh, big, big elbow up. drop landing. I command thee to embrace the darkness. God damn. Pain. I command thee to embrace big the darkness. Smash landing. Oh, big power slam landing on Pixie Corpse. I command thee to embrace the darkness. Oh, Pixie like a rag doll. <laughs> Kyle, thank you very much for all the I shares. I command thee to embrace the Pixie darkness. Pixie reversing out of it, gouging the eyes. This has just been back and forth, Tony. I command thee to embrace the darkness. Oh, holy shit, this is just non-stop. Action. I command right thee now. to embrace the darkness. What's she did? I think she hit that natural selection. I command thee to I embrace the one, darkness. One, two, three. First pinfall of the I match goes to, to Pixie Corps. The These two go right back at it. 
11 minutes left on the clock. I command thee to embrace the darkness! I command thee to embrace the darkness! Bam. Winter Witch sends her in the hard way. I command thee to embrace the darkness! Iris whip to the corner. Again, another Iris whip to the corner. She comes charging in, does that flip back elbow. Big elbow. Yeah. Impressive maneuver from the Winter Witch. She goes for the pin here. One, One two, One oh. count only. Still lots of fight in Pixie Corpse. I thought it was a two, honestly, guys. I'm not going to lie. Well, so far it's Pixie one, the Winter Witch zero. Ten minutes rep, remaining rep, in this Iron finished. Women match. She was just grabbing her eyes for Christ's sakes. Come on, stop being biased. Don't be afraid of the witch. And Pixie. a big power bomb landed. She goes for the cover. One, two, three. That's it. Winter Witch got a pinfall. We're tied at one apiece. 9.40 left on the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Battle Mania 2 from TKWA. We got the Hag Division title Pixie on the line. Right. After ragdolling the Winter Witch. Pixie strutting around. But misses. She missed that leg drop and she paid for it. With her ass. Pixie's getting her strut on. Oh, Father Richmond knew it was coming. Line. Victoria, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to TKWA. Winter Witch, no fucks given. Oh, but Pixie oh, reverses drag. it with oh, an Pixie. arm drag. Pixie set her up. Oh, wow. Exploder. Yeah, big suplex there. Beautiful explosion! Big chop landing. Irish whip sending her to the outside. What's what she gonna Pixie do doing? here? What is this? And she sends her back in the hard way with a neck breaker. That might be it, man. Pin a pixie. Nope, she's setting up. She's measuring. Oh! Kicks her in the gut. Here we go. She's going for that natural selection again. Hits it. We're tied at one it? apiece. She goes for the it. cover. One, two, three. She's got it. Two, one for Pixie. Eight minutes remaining on the clock. Big clothesline to the Witch Witch from Pixie. Pixie soaking up the crowd. You hear the crowd getting so hyped up for this. You can tell Pixie's been training. She's significantly a lot better since her debut. Oh, Look at that, what she's a, stretching the out this? the Winter Witch. What, what the heck kind of, what is this? What do you call the stretch? I don't know, but she's stretching her out for sure, but uh, the Winter Witch powers out with a hip toss. Pixie is going to stay on top of her because the Winter Witch, you give that little hit inch that to breathe breaker. and she mounts that comeback. Big chop. She's must have hit dozens of chops here today. Mm-hmm. It's the chops that you heard around the world. Knee landing Pink. for Pixie. She's got the advantage here. 2-1 with six minutes and 50 seconds left remaining on the clock. Can the Winter Witch pull out and pull ahead? What is she doing? There's that big elbow again. Did I just say pull out? That's I think she said. Did. Winter Witch going for the cover. One, two, three. Tied to a piece. Six, six minutes, 30 minutes. seconds. Kicked to the gut by Pixie Corpse. Pixie set her up for a suplex again. Big suplex, bringing the witch down at the hard way. Big leg drop landing. I'd like to remind everyone, if you're watching on Facebook, 
Our whole roster's gaming pages are tagged in the description. Make sure you go down below, hit the link, and give those pages a follow. Thank you very much. Pixie now landed some knees on the Winter Witch, really taking it to the champion here today. Pixie's style has changed a little bit. Is it me? Mm -hmm. I feel like she's more of a striker now. Yep. She definitely changed her style. Oh, she's getting in that submission. She's really torquing that figure four leg lock. Hey, she makes torquing look good, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh. She going to tap out Winter Witch trying to fight out of it. The witch is hanging on, though. That You could tell that is hurting big time. Oh, I don't know how the witch survived that. Honestly, you know, it's all about conditioning tits. You know, get when you get ready for a match like this, you have to be ready for anything that could happen. Right. We're tied at two apiece in this Iron Woman match. Five minutes remaining on the clock. Mm-hmm. It is. The Will Bell Slam set up again. Here it goes. Woo! With authority Ooh. down to the mat. Wisely rolling out of the ring, the champ does. Oh, shoot. Wait, she got Pixie. Snap, Mare. Kick to the back, baby. Pixie with her own kick back, though. It's back and forth, guys. Ragdolling her across the ring. Yeah, Pixie's Pixie. definitely upped her game. You can Pixie tell there's a change the there. Oh, man, it's, it's her time to shine. She knows it. 420 knows remaining on the clock. Pixie's setting up for something big. Pixie waiting to choose her spot here. What's she doing? The witch is messed oh, up. Oh, hit that crossbody on the Winter Witch. That was a beautiful crossbody, man. Hell yeah, Tits. Back in the old days, that was a finishing maneuver. Can you believe it? Wow. Pixie misses the forearm. Winter Witch, big hurricanrata with the punches. Winter Witch Choke. trying to choke the life out of Pixie. Looking like a is. desperation that maneuver. Ref. That ref is so... You better talk to him, GM. Yeah, I know he has a family and all, but you know he's going to be on the unemployment line really soon. Exploder suplex by Pixie on the witch. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. I know, man. Oh, she's, oh, oh, she's putting in that again. figure four again. Square in the middle of the ring. Three minutes remaining on the clock. She she puts more pressure on it. She gonna tap her out here? She does! Winter Witch taps out! Three minutes remaining. Pixie is up one, three to two in this Iron Women match. What a match. You got to believe that the Winter Witch is going to go into desperation mode here. For Try real. to pick up two wins. Nice schoolboy landing by Pixie. Two count only. The Winter Witch kicking out. What a show in here, folks. You see this? This is what it's like to have a title on the line and knowing that the loser of the match is going to be suspended for an indefinite time. You fight, you claw, you do anything. Look at the witch right now. Mm, this She's you know, fighting with desperation. She knows what's on the line. Not only her title, but her job. Yeah. She got the arm locked in, but Pixie's fighting. Shots to the ribs. Over and over. Big forearm oh. smash landing by Pixie Corpse. Winter Witch getting back up. Desperation here for the Winter Witch. Her title and jobs on the line. Same with Pixie Corp. She loses. She's suspended. No paycheck, nothing. How are you going to feed your family? Huh? That's right. Pixie up three to two. I'm Gotta believe we're nearing seconds. one minute, 30 seconds. Winter Witch better turn it up here. Land in the big back elbow. I think the Winter Witch is desperate here. She's going for the pin. She's gonna try to tie it up. One, two, three. Oh, God, we tied high. it up three apiece. There's one minute, 10 seconds left. 
the Winter Witch landing that pedigree on the Pixie Corpse. Going for the cover. Why all oh, Pixie kick it out? Holy shit, Tony. The desperation is kicking in. The oh shit, the time's going, they know it. The ref reminds them what's there. It's like, oh, what do I gotta do at the last few seconds? Last minute can. remaining. Pixie picking her up. Big suplex. They're tied at three apiece. The head title is on the line. Oh my god, a kick to the gut. Pixie centering her She's up. She's going for that natural selection. Slaps her. Ooh. Better go for the cover, Pixie. Go for the cover. What is she doing? 20 seconds remaining. What are you doing? Really? Slamming her down for good measure. Injury, I think Insult she just saw injury. the clock. She just saw the clock. One, One two, two, three, no five seconds no remaining. Holy crap. Pixie Corpse. Just barely pulling a hit at the very last moment. Oh my God, Tony! What a freaking match, man! Uh, security, please remove the um the witch. Please, she she can go. She's dismissed. The She's witch is suspended for how long, Tony? Sixty days. Way to go, sixty days. That sounds good. Congratulations <laughs> to Pixie Corpse Gaming. She is our new TKWA Hag Division Champion, Tony. I think we need a commercial break, brother. That was one hell of a match. Guys, hold on. Universe soaks this moment up. This is a rookie getting her dream to come through. Headline in Battle Mania and then holding the gold at the end. That's every superstar's dream in back of that locker room. Wow, one hell of a match. We're going to commercial break, folks. Did you know that 9 out of 10 kids play video games? I won! Radical! I won! <laughs> We're so gaming now! We're so gaming now! We're so gaming now! We're so gaming now! But did you also know that video games... ...cause violence? Time to play for real. No! Stop your children from playing video games today. Now that's a pro gamer move. Before it's too late. ヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッドセットヘッ
Had him go get a beer, goddammit. Ah, Tony's getting a beer. Here we go, folks. One hell of a card so far. We saw the debuting Canadian Wrecking Crew putting uh, some NWO members through the table. And then, of course, congratulations to Pixie Corpse Gaming on becoming the new TKWA Hag Division title champion. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to have one hell of a match here next. We got a fatal four-way for the Fighting Honor Championship. Contested in a steel cage match, we got Joseph Skaldrum Knight taking on the king of old school Kyle Merriman and making his return, Coyote Carter against the very ultra-violent and destructive dominant TKWA fighting on a champion, the Abomination. Steel Cage, you add in there. I don't know, Tony, what do you think? This match is gonna be huge. We got the original fighting on a champion at Kyle Marion. We got the crazy clown, Coyote Cotter, who's been MIA lately, but finally making his return. Joseph Goldroom, hopefully he finds his way to arena tonight. And we got the Abomination. What can I say? He abominates everything we put in front of him. And didn't you say that if the Abominate or if uh, Joseph Skaldrum Knight loses, he ha he's relegated to announcing now? Yes, he is. That's, that's true. A lot on the line for Skaldrum. It's do or die for him. Let's go to the promos and down. Huh? Hey, remember this pay cut season is coming. <laughs> All right, let's go to the promos and down to ringside for more action. Hey, fans. It's me, Skaldron. Joseph Skaldron Knight. I put Grandmama to bed, give the kids a bologna sandwich, you're going to sit back, and I'm going to tell you a little bit of something here. First of all, I got the honor of fighting for the TKWA Fighting Honor Championship. Nice thing. Our illustrious GM has given me this thing. But, but, I mean, uh, it, it's okay to fight one person. Okay, I can kick two people's asses. But now I'm in a, then they throw in somebody else. And then they, these are not ordinary people now. This is the current champion, Abomination. Abomination, who makes King Kong and Godzilla look like nice people. Then you got the former champion, Kyle Merriman. I guess he's part of Robin Hood's group because he's a merry man. Then you got Coyote Pete. I mean, a Coyote Connor. What the hell? Okay, Fatal 4 win. And then it gets worse. Then it goes into a steel cage match. So it's a fatal four way for a championship against four top, against three other top contenders, but I'm the best. And then you got a steel cage around us. We're not going to be banged around and hurt. And here's the stipulation if I lose, if I don't win this match, I don't even have to get pinned. If I lose, then I'm stuck in the commentary table and you folks have to look at me all the time. That's not a bad deal. Uh, win or lose, I still walk away. So, coming up, Abomination, Merry Man, Carter, you're gonna face me. And win or lose, I'm gonna kick somebody's ass. Cause that's why I'm here. I, this is my Taurus one here, the dark horse, the old school fighter. And uh, this is a message uh, to all me fans at TKWA. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a rough go. I, uh, 
I gained the Fighting Honor Championship belt thanks to uh, all of my loving fans and you guys' support. And I lost. I lost big uh, to Abomination and lost it. And uh, Battle Mania is uh, going to be the biggest fight of my professional career. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is it. Uh, there's an old saying that I want to share with you, an old Irish saying that I was taught ever since I was a kid and decided to get into this business of uh, fighting uh, once more into the fray, into the last good fight you'll ever know. Live and die on this day. Live and die. This means uh, that I'm prepared to go into that ring and I'm prepared to claw with me fucking fingernails for that inch to regain that title. What separates me from them is I'm going to tear everything and everyone to pieces for that fucking inch, for that belt back in me hands. And that's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing, between living and dying. I'm so confident in this fucking match that I bet my professional career on the line that I will fucking dominate, that I will fucking dominate in that ring and I will take everything away from those other three fighters and I will step out of that ring with that belt. Be prepared for Battle Mania. So, and here's and my, my wife. My husband is going to defeat you all and win. This is what Notorious is going to do to you. The unknown fighter, the dark horse, Skull Drum Realms, Koi community, Tuna Gaming community. I'm going to make an example of you three boys. This is what I'm going to do to you. I am notorious. I am the unknown fighter. I am the fucking dark horse. It's coming for you. I am going to be your fucking wrecking ball at Battle Mania. Slayer. I am the Irish gladiator that's going to fucking swallow your soul, dominate you in the cage and rise above your bodies the arena covered in blood with the TKWA Fighting Honor Championship belt back in my hands prepare for fucking war Oh, it's time once again for the abomination to come into the ring and smash some yuppies. The first thing I'd like to address here, I've noticed some changes to the match. Yes, I'm speaking to you, Coy Carter. You are my brother, but at the same time, it's my belt. Brothers are forever. And hopefully, this will change nothing between us. On a second note, Mr. Joseph Scaldron, yes. All that smack last month. That you were running your dick sucker. Talking about. Oh. 
He's good. He's good. For one thing, you got lost. I remember that. You got lost finding the fucking stadium. I remember that. Are you going to get lost now? Are you going to get lost trying to find yourself in the steel cage? This is the Fighting Honor Championship. What the fuck have you fought? And Mr. Kyle Merriman. Oh yes, Mr. Kyle Merriman. Coming to try to take the belt back. It's the cage, Kyle. All those times that me and you have come to blows, it's been in a ring. You've been able to run. Where are you going to run now? Where? So when I crack your skull on that damn cage and you hit the fucking ground, where are you going to go? Where are you going to run to? You see, I'm standing out in a fucking snowstorm. Look at this. Look at all the snow here. But I want you to notice something. There's two things going on here. One, it's cold. And you know what? The meat doesn't go bad in the cold. There's another thing going on here. It's dark. Just like my soul. And if you guys think that you can walk your little happy asses right in the ring, right in the steel cage, and then walk your happy asses right back out with my fucking belt. You got another thing coming. One more thing I like about the snow is when I shed the blood of my enemies, it shows up so gloriously. So, when I spill your blood, all three of you, if I have to, in the ring, the ring is going to show what I've done as well. Like I said, Coy, you are my brother. And family never, ever turns their back on each other. I'll see you all in the ring. Well, this is gonna be one hell of a match, Tony. Steel Cage is set up, fighting honor title on the line. Here he comes, making his return to CKWA, Coyote Kata. Oh, yeah. Here he is, finally, after missing in action. The following contest is a will the Abomination and Koi work together, or will they go and fight each other, knowing that the title is on the line? Well, wow, hard to say. You know, that's the biggest thing, you know? But good to see Coyote Carter back in action. On the biggest stage of them all, Battle Mania. We thank everyone for joining us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Trovo, Nemo TV, and T Live. Here he is, Joseph Skullgrim Knight. Gonna be our newest commentator. Do or die for done. him. He's either uh, gonna win the title or he's coming to the announce booth. That's that man. What a pay cut. Just to be. <laughs> Good to see Joseph Skull from Knight getting in the mix here. He's had plenty of title opportunities. He's close, but so far away. Hopefully he can get a win here tonight. We will see what happens. Holy mackerel! <laughs> we got Dutch gaming dude in the house. Dutch also a TK WA legend. Dropping in, showing some love. Thank you very much, Dutch. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll come home one day. 
Will we see a return of Dutch Gaming, dude? Here he is, folks, the first ever TKWA Fighting Honor Champion. Also just joined the newly formed Canadian Wrecking Crew, the king of old school, Kyle Merriman. You gotta believe he's a heavy favorite tonight. Yeah, he trained high, man, running that fight. Working I out, build a shot, and the also showing his head, who was lost. Kyle Reed L. Snow, very sad. I command the to embrace the darkness. Kyle definitely has that experience in there. We got, we got Justin. I Just, command Just the to embrace over the on Twitch. Hello. I command the Dutch, to thank you very much the for the share, bro. I do appreciate it. Dutch Gaming dude confirming in the chat that he will indeed, in fact, be joining TKWA again. And here he comes, folks, the reigning, defending, chainsaw-wielding maniac, the abomination, TKWA fighting honor champion. That is a monster of a man, and he is hard to stop. Abomination. Everybody was going to be the darkness. Who it is, what their background is, how they fight. The abomination does what his name is. He abominates them. That means to vanish. Bye. See ya. Never again. You <laughs> see how everyone clears out of the ring when he brings that chainsaw in there. No fuck he's given good. by the abomination. That's why I, I like him so much. I think he's compensated for something though with that chainsaw. <laughs> you better watch your mouth, Cannoli. Thought you were trying to change saying. your colors, man. He's ended up gonna fucking castrate you with that chainsaw. Hey, I'm still rooting for him, though. He's a I fucking animal. I command the to embrace the darkness! I wouldn't fuck with the abomination. That's what it's all I on the line, the folks. TKWA Fighting Honor Championship. You know, you know, Tim? I command the to embrace the darkness! <laughs> I command thee Kiss to embrace the darkness! Bob wire explosion. Hey, oh, ain't nobody want to see me in a match. I command the the to embrace the darkness! <laughs> Bell has sounded! The abomination going after Joseph. I command thee to embrace the Looks darkness! Looks like he's going after Koi! No? Koi hoist the pile up on their Dutch the dropping in with a big share bomb. The abomination smacked Koi in the back. I command thee to embrace the darkness! A lot of action to call I here. Koi taking down Joseph. I command thee to embrace the darkness! Got to grab some popcorn just sit here and watch, to be honest. I command thee to embrace the darkness! Pixie said it correctly. There's a lot of ego in this cage here tonight. I command thee to embrace the darkness! Big Pixie suplex! Flex. That didn't take long for Koi and the I Abomination to go to at it. I command thee to embrace the darkness! Former tag team champions, Koi and the Abomination in the faces of fear. I command thee to fear. embrace the darkness! Big chop to the back. Kyle taking it to Coy Carter. Looks like Kyle's climbing the cage. I command thee to embrace the darkness. Kyle trying to escape. I command thee to embrace the darkness. Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Looks like Tony was swatting flies there. I command thee <laughs> to embrace yeah, the darkness. Coy Carter climbing up in the corner of the cage. Somebody better stop him. I command thee to embrace the darkness! Oh, Merryman going after Koi! I command thee Joseph to embrace trying to get that submission on, oh, he's climbing up! God damn it! Get him! I command thee to embrace the darkness! off that damn cage! Tony, I sense you're nervous because I command thee uh, to coming up the next darkness. is your tag team title match. And you'll be in a hell in the cell, I so I, I kind of hear the curves in your voice. I'm not nervous, Tits. It's my destiny to be in that cage. It's time for me to back my talk of what I've been saying since What's Kyle going to do here? We got Kyle. <laughs> we got Joseph on top of the cage. We got DHG in the house. Another superstar. We're trying to get signed here to TKWA. 
All four of these guys are up on the cage here. Anything can happen. Joseph falling down. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, the abomination off the top rope. Big elbow drop. Holy crap. And now abomination going after Koi. Going after Kyle. Oh, my God. What a fall. The abomination in control. Yeah, he is. Holy shit. Look at him in the right hell. Holy shit. Uh-oh, Duke in the chat saying, don't think I've forgotten you either, Cannoli. Uh-oh. Joseph climbing up on the cage. Koi looking like he's going to stop him. Mm-hmm. Sends Joseph Scaldrum flying down on the mat. Koi making his way up. Well, Koi's kick fighting off Kyle. But Kyle knocks him off. Remember, you can pin your opponent inside the cage to I win the match. I to embrace the darkness. Dutch with about one million shares. Thank you very much, Dutch. I'm going to get a spam, damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Spamming. Uh-oh. Liquid tri electric chair drop. He got Koi up. Boom. Oh, face first. Kyle trying to lift the big man up. This is Continues so his fight. Me, man. You just see the size difference with the abomination compared to everyone else, even Joseph Scaldrum. I command thee to embrace the darkness! Irish whip to the corner. This match has been crazy. Back and forth, back and forth. Who do you guys think is going to win? Say it in the comments. Abomination with that inverted DDT. What's up, DHG in the house? Brad, what? What? Brad Heckler winning the match right in front of everyone. What just the hell? How did that happen? I didn't even pay attention to that. He just tossed Kyle. Almost knocking him out. Wow. That's it. He That's Kyle it. Down. The abomination still. TKWA fighting honor champion. Wow. That was quick. That was quick. That was quick. Wow. Congratulations to the abomination. We're going to head back to our pre-match booth. And Tony, you know what's coming up next. It's time to get ready. The Abomination walking out of the steel cage. Still your champion. Well, Tits, wish me luck. It's going to be a fight. You know, it's time to go out there. Back to talk. Stand up to the G's in the cage. Face to face, mano to mano. And said a lot of differences. Okay, well, well KWA Universe, I'll see you guys. Wow. All right. See you, Tony. Well, Tony Cannoli's going to make his way back to the locker room. It is GM Tony Cannoli and Father Jerry taking on the crazy Latinos from NWO. Tag team titles on the line. Hell in the cell I cannot wait for this match been a lot of hype with this match a lot of back and forth a lot of shit talk between the GM and the G's in response the G's created the new wrestling order for some backup it all comes to a head here today at Battlemania 2. Let's go to the promos, then down to ringside for more action. It's Father J time. So much hate, anger burning through my veins that there's only one thing up here that I can do to calm the fire and the hell burning that's raging with inside.
Ah, I have to cool down. Keep myself from overheating. I don't want to burn up. Guerreros, I beat you before. I'll beat you again. You haven't beaten me yet. The titles are coming my way. Cannoli and I, we go back. We know each other since day one. We're coming for the belts. This time I tried to warn you. I tried to tell you guys it was over. But it's too late now. Father's home. What is up, TKW Universe? You know my name, Tony Cannoli. I had to run from the commentary table all the way to my office this to shoot this promo. You know, I'm not going to add any fancy bells or whistles. That's overhype. I'm not spending the dough for that. Forget about it. You know something, guys? A change of heart, too. I'm done being the screw-over guy, the heel. I'm done talking shit about other people. You know what? It's not worth it. You know what they say? Negativity brings negativity. Going forward after my match tonight, I am going to be the most positive, outgoing general manager you guys have ever seen in TKWA. For real. Universe. This is a real deal. This ain't me playing a game. Honestly. Mr. Boss Man, it is what it is. Um, at the end of the day, we are stepping into the ring with the G's. Me and my brother, Father J, Jerry. That is right. We've had some good times, some bad times. I made fun of the guy, called him over the hill geriatric. But no, that's dead to me. We're brothers. We're going to stick together. We're going to win those damn titles. You know what, G's? I envy you. Your father and son, you're doing something together, man. I got to give you props. I can see it every day. And you know what? I'm not making fun of your production. It is the best it's going to be for now. Because little G is making it happen. Well, big G stands there and looks stupid. Oops. Sorry, some things die hard. Another thing I need to touch upon at TKWA Nightmare after Battle Mania. You know what? Chris Stanny, you get your wish. You're going to get me, Tony Cannoli, one-on-one -on -one with you, champ. If you're still the champ after the show. Which I don't know, man. I don't think you can hack it with Showtime. But that's just me personally. Showtime's an athlete. You're just a father of three who wants to be a wrestler. You moonlight as a wrestler, sir. It's not even your full-time gig. But you know what? Good luck, sir. Talk Soup Gaming, not even worth the time to bring up his name. Universe, sit back. Get ready to see greatness tonight. It is Battle Mania 2. Two years in the making, baby. And we're still here. We're stronger than ever. I gotta get back to that desk. And then I gotta get ready to step in that ring. So enjoy the show, Universe. I'll catch you next time. Tony Cannoli, out. So we're going to go against Father Jerry and the general manager. <laughs> you know what? We're done. You want us in that ring? You want us in that Hell in a Cell match? You got it. We're gonna come, we're gonna destroy you. We're gonna beat you. Oh yeah. That's what's gonna happen. We know what your weakness is. Cannoli. Inflated balls. Fester's flesh. <laughs> you know what? We're done. What? Oh, what happened? Wait. What the heck, man? It is me, the general manager, here to say if there's any funky business going on with the G's. Any funky business going on with the G's, they will be terminated of the titles. Oh wow, that, that's me! My family, my brother, my partner, Abomination. The video me in the video store. Oh wow, a lot of the G's. The G's are always here. The G's, the G's, the G's, the G's, the G's. Oh wow. No women order. 
Uh oh. Stinky. Uh oh. Me again. Me again. The G's. More G's. G's here, here, here. Okay, we're back to my office. If I see any more funky business going wrong with the G's and the NWO, no women order. Then I will have to terminate them and remove the titles from them. I gotta go take a mad shit. Okay, I think we're back. We're back. We're back. Cannoli. What are you doing, dude? Seriously? You said you want us to be serious, huh? <laughs> well, we're ready for you, Cannoli. And Father Jerry. Which you guys don't deserve these titles at all. Alright? We're gonna destroy you in that ring. <laughs> You'll see. NWO. You wrestling. This has been a word from the new wrestling. Well, here we go, folks. Tag team action inside the hell in the cell. As you can see, my broadcast partner, Tony Cannoli. There he is right there. GM Cannoli making his uh, way out to the ring. And he intends on calling the main event with me. We'll see what happens. Mask in his glory, ladies and gentlemen. GM Cannoli making his way down to the ring. I'm pretty excited about this match, you know. It's tag Team Tornado rules. It's going to be a lot of chaos. Locked inside the hell in the cell. Thank you very much for the I notify DHG in the building. Hopefully we'll get him signed to a contract here in TKWA. I'll be excited about that. GM Cannoli kind of with a new look. Trying to change his colors apparently. Here he comes, Father Jerry. Father Jerry and Tony Cannoli have a uh, definitely a colored history. If you remember back in the beginning days of TKWA, they had a Hell in the Cell match of their own. They'll live in history. And now they're going to be partners and try to take out the NWO, the crazy Latinos, the reigning, defending tag team champions. Jason, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to do this with Scurry Face Wrestling. Imagine this with haunt actors. I think it could be really cool. Father Jerry rocking his new attire. You can't, uh, you can't count out Father Jerry, man. He's a tenacious bugger. One of the originals from day one, Father Jerry has been. It's going to be one hell of a match, folks. One hell of a match. This has been months in the making. The G's and the GM have been going back and forth with each other, bickering about this and that and the other thing. Tony Cannoli has screwed the G's over, putting them in a match against each other, but we just found out in Tony's promo, he's trying to, trying to turn over a new leaf, trying to change his colors. So we'll see.
And here they come, folks. Your reigning, defending TKWA Tag Team Champions, the newly formed new wrestling order, the Crazy Latinos, Mr. G and Little G. It's gonna be some action here, folks. Breaking news, Dutch Gaming Dude has been re-signed to TKWA. So we can expect to see him on the next Nightmare. We'd like to take a moment here to thank everyone for joining us. TKWA Battle Mania 2, our biggest show of the year. We're uh, happy you're here watching some great action here this afternoon. More breaking news, DHG has just been signed to TKWA, holy hell. Looks like we're gonna have some new superstars joining TKWA here in the near future. That's always exciting. Well, Little G, our youngest competitor in TKWA history, clocking in at 13 years old. And of course, our only father-son team we have in TKWA. That's what's on the line, folks. TKWA Tag Team Championships. Hell in the Cell. Tony Cannoli. Father Jerry. Versus the Crazy Latinos. Now only if we could get Zack Retro Mansion back in TKWA, that would be awesome. Where you at, Zack? Sign the contract. Sign a deal with the devil. Do it, Zack, do it now. Well, we got action taken off. Cannoli going after Mr. G. Little G and Father Jerry, I'm doing this solo. I'm going to try to call the action the best I can. Tony Cannoli scooping up Mr. G and sending him on the canvas, hitting him with those snap jabs. Little G sending Father Jerry back in the ring. Little G taking the strikes to, to Tony Cannoli. Oh, hitting him with that Enzigiri kick. Watch out, Father Jerry, a spinning Hank and Rana. That Lucha style of Little G. Little G sending Father Jerry on the outside, knocking him into the cage. The cage already in play. Mr. G and Cannoli going at it inside the ring. Little G taking it to Father Jerry on the outside. A backbreaker hit by Tony Cannoli. Oh, big full Nelson suplex by Tony Cannoli. Trying to lay waste to Little or Mr. G. Little G taking it to uh, Jerry on the outside. Little G wisely getting in, helping out his dad. Gotta admit, uh, the crazy Latinos are working well as a team, but so are Father Jerry and GM Cannoli. My uh, broadcast colleague, GM Cannoli, says he intends to help me call the main event. Oh, Father Jerry trying to choke out Little G. Little G hitting a jawbreaker. Yes, folks, you're watching TKWA Battle Mania 2. And there's so much freaking action, I can't call it. 619 landed by Little G. Hitting that springboard leg drop. Tony Cannoli wisely breaking up the pinfall. Hitting that spinning roundhouse kick. Irish whip to the ropes. Cannoli grabbed a hold of Little G. Big German suplex. Oh, little miscommunication there. 
Father Jerry getting back into the ring. Little G missing with that step up kick. So much action for me to call folks by myself. GM Cannoli starting to feel it. Looks like Cannoli and Jerry have got the advantage here. Cannoli, that overhead suplex. Big airplane spin by Father Jerry. Suplex landing. Looks like Tony's holding on. Clutch in the head. Putting more impact on her. Going for the pin, one, two. Two count only, Mr. G kicking out just in the nick of time. Tony trying to choke out Mr. G. He's, he's clutching it in. Little G flying around. That could be it, folks. No. Mr. G survives it. Oh, it looks like Little G just busted open Father Jerry with a back elbow. Little G with that lucha style, with that spinning uh, hurricanrana landing on the GM. Everyone is down. Irish whip to the outside, sends him crashing against the cage. Just breaking the cage with Tony Cannoli. Wow. How the hell can he lift up Tony Cannoli like that? These two are on the outside fighting. Mr. G and Jerry inside the cage. Holy shit. I have a feeling things are about to get real interesting. Little G scaling up the big 25 foot hell in the cell. Holy Jesus, Mr. G, Father Jerry going at it on the outside of the ring, inside the cage. Tony Cannoli following Little G up. What's Little G doing? These two are trying to take swipes at each other while climbing the cage. Tony Cannoli up on top of that cage. Little G trying to scale his way up. Mr. G taking care of Father Jerry inside the ring. Hitting him with a big spear. Mr. G taking out Father Jerry. Little G trying to get Tony Cannoli back up. Jerry uh, kicking out after a two count. Looks like Tony Cannoli scaling the wall. The GM climbing up. Mr. G ragdolling Father Jerry inside the ring. Jesus Christ, Cannoli, what are you doing? What are you doing? They're in a precarious position up on top of that cage. DDT landed by Little G. Mr. G trying to finish the match. The inside of the ring. Uh-oh. Little G dropping Tony Cannoli 25 feet off top of that hell in the cell. Holy shit. I'm about to pass out from yelling so much. Wow. Fine Buster landed by Mr. G inside the ring. Can you believe that? And Cannoli's getting up. Cannoli's getting up. Holy shit. Say what you want about the GM, but he is built like a brick shit house. If he can get up after taking a 25 foot fall off the top of the hell in the cell. What's Father Jerry doing here? Uh-oh! 
Landing that big elbow drop. He goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, just barely kicking out, Mr. G. Cannoli and Little G are fighting on the outside. This is just so much damn action, the call. I cannot believe uh, that fall didn't kill Tony Cannoli. I can't believe it. Mr. G trying to fight back in the ring. Looks like he's got Father Jerry up. And a big sledgehammer by Mr. G. He hooks the leg. Two, three. The NWO retain the titles here tonight. And one hell of a match. Holy shit balls, man. Wow. Wow. Little G tossing Tony Cannoli off the top of the hell in the cell. Mr. G taking advantage inside the ring. Holy shit. Holy shit. Congratulations to the crazy Latinos. Retaining the tag team championships here tonight. One hell of a performance from the crazy Latinos, the NWO. Holy shit, that's all I can say. Well, we're gonna go to a commercial break, folks. And then soon enough, it's gonna be main event time. Warning, this video contains adult material not suitable for children. Tired of the same old politicians, experts, and doctors telling you to wear a mask? Of course you are. Introducing Karen's Gone Wild, COVID-19 edition. The action never ends when real Karens are asked to wear a mask in public or be refused service by private businesses. The surprises don't stop when these lawyer Karens inform you of their rights. You're breaking the law. Don't love social distancing? Get up close and personal with these coffin Karens. <laughs> and it's yours on DVD for only $9.99. Use your credit card and you'll get the all-new racist Karen's Gone Wild All Lives Matter edition for free. Watch as Karens all across America patrol the streets of their suburbs demanding anyone who isn't white answer a few questions. I'm asking you if this is your property. You've never seen Karens like these. They know everyone who lives on this street except you. You live here? Yes, bitch! Order in the next 60 minutes and receive Kevin's Gone Wild. Be the first to get your hands on the hottest collection of agitated patriots ready to tell you exactly what they think. Just make sure to keep the cameras running. They love it. Can't video told me all day long! Call 1-800-55-KAREN. Place your order right now and get all three DVDs and a special bonus. Karens Gone Wild White House Edition. Hey, CNN. Fake news. There's your beautiful baby. Well, folks, we got a special announcement here tonight. The return of former TKWA world champion. That's right. He's back in TKWA. Old Man Bronze. Hi. It's me, Old Man Bronze. I know for a fact Old Man Bronze just wanted to come down to the ring and say hello to everyone. He's not in action tonight, but we pay homage to a TKWA legend, the returning Old Man Bronze, former TKWA world champion. And he is coming back, folks. Good to see Old Man Bronze back in TKWA. I'm super excited to see what he brings back. He's had a year hiatus from TKWA. The Old Man is back, back in action. I was talking to Old Man Bronze earlier today. He was just excited to do this, just to come out to the ring. I know my broadcast colleague, Tony Cannoli, is getting attended to by medical staff, and he's going to attempt to come back out here 
and call the main event with me, which is coming up next, baby. Big shout out to old man Braun. Well, folks, the moment you've been waiting for double title, triple threat match, Talk Soup Gaming, taking on Showtime Shane Black, the Extremer Champion, taking on the World Champion, Duke of Potatoville. Talk Soup Gaming stuck his nose in the last meeting of these two guys, and now we got a triple threat for all the titles, baby. Let's go to the promos and down to action. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck yeah. Time for the entire world to witness history here in TKWA. For the first time that I can recall, this will be the only time to date that one man will hold two championships in TKWA. Now I am very proud to be part of this monumentous occasion. For you see, I feel like TKWA has thrown me a bone in one match. Not only do I get to extract my revenge on that pencil neck little nerd, Chris Reese, but I get to regain my TKWA World Heavyweight Championship from the Duke of Potatoville. Now, Duke, I respect you. I can say without a doubt, you are the man in TKWA who has given me the best run for my money. I respect you. I can say that without a shadow of a doubt. And I know you didn't win the championship the way you wanted to. And quite frankly, you wouldn't have won if that little shit hadn't stuck in his nose where it didn't belong. And see, the only issue I have with this match is I've got to make sure I don't focus solely on tearing apart Chris Reese. That I maintain the wide-eyed view that I have to do to make sure I put down Reese and the Duke with the showstopper super kick. You see, when the smoke clears and the spotlight drops down upon me, the both of you will look up with bloody and blurred vision and watch as I raise my Extremer Championship and the two-time TKWA World Heavyweight Championship are above my head as TKWA's first dual champion. Boys, I've punched your tickets. Welcome to the show. Well, when I first joined TKWA, no one really knew me. So I knew that if I wanted to get noticed, I had to come out swinging. No one knew me. That needed to change. It 
There was already an established group of talent. I certainly had a lot to prove. Ha! I thought winning the championship would be enough. Apparently, I still do have a lot to prove. Winning that match, I knew I was. I was coming home with that belt. I literally had chained on the ropes, but Torksu came in and ruined it. You ruined it. Ruined it all by casting a shadow of my victory. People are saying it. Torksu won me the belt. I'm a paper champ. I'm just holding on to the belt. Well, I say enough. Time to win back my respect. What do I think of my opponent? Well, despite what happened, I hold no grudges against Hawksoup. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time, led astray by someone else, I think. A cruel twist of fate. TWIST OF FATE! TWIST OF FATE! TWIST OF FATE! Showtime, on the other hand? Well, Shane, he's got everything a TKWA superstar needs. But what you need to remember is I fought with him, I fought against him. I know him, through and through. I know his strengths and his weaknesses. So much so that there's only one way that this match can end. Chris Daddy is your new TKWA Extreme Champion. Kudos to you, Duke. Do I have any messages for them? Hmm. Huh. That's a good question. Talk to. Showtime, I know you're good guys, and great TKWA talent, but I've got a job to do, and nothing will stop me from doing it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm ready for the fight of my life. Are you? Holy shit, main event time. Bruh. And uh, of course, joining me back, we got GM Cannoli. One hell of a fall you took off the top of the hell in the cell. Wow. You know, Tiff, it pays to know the truth. Thank God for a gift play floor. That didn't hurt one bit. Always two steps ahead, kind of like chess. Geez, hats off there. I tell you guys, what a flipping experience. The one a rush. I'm sure I'm gonna feel it once that adrenaline wears off. But here's Talk Soup Gaming. Talk Soup Gaming, one part of this big triple threat main event. He stuck his nose in the title match at TKWA Survival. You signed him back to a contract. And in that contract, it stated he could be a part of the main event of Battle Mania. So here we go. Talk Soup could walk out with both belts here tonight. Yes, indeed. He could. Kind of new attire for uh, Talk Soup. He looks good. He does. He really does. Better than that Power Ranger look. Uh, you know, what a night, so many signings, so many features going to be built in the next coming shows. And now here comes one of the, here comes the competitor. I'll tell you, man, this match has a big fight feel. The main event of TKWA's biggest show, and here's our Extremer Champion, Showtime Shane Black, after losing the title to Duke of Potatoville because of Talk Soup Gaming. He quickly recovered and won you know, the Extremer title. You know, Tiff, this is the guy that put Old Man Bronze on the shelf for that mm -hmm. year that he was gone. True. This is him. True. Showtime Shane Black. 
He is the stepping stone of greatness. He is one of our top competitors. But I can't take it from any of them. You know, the promos were great. That is what we want. Shoot your heart out. Put the emotion into it. Put it all out. But let's give it to both Showtime Shane Black and Duke of Potato Bill. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. Well done, indeed. That is what we're looking for for top tier TKWA talents. Certainly some of the best we got going here today. I mean, this match, double title match, first time ever in TKWA. Main event of Battle Mania 2, if you recall. Well, history repeat itself. Showtime Shane Black walking into Battle Mania 1 last year and dethroning Old Man Bronze to become the new TKWA World Champion. Will history repeat itself? You know, Tiff, let me ask you something. The first ever Extrema Champion just signed back to the company. What does that mean for the Extrema title picture? So many questions, so many unanswered questions, actually. Right. But you know what they say. You gotta leave your question to make you want to come back for more. Indeed. Breaking some big news. We got a lot of the old roster coming back. We are excited to have them. Yes, we are. Show time. Shane Black, our reigning, defending, extremer champion. You know, great match, Steve. Great match, honestly. Now, my question, though, for you, Tim. OMB never got a rematch. I mean, it, it's very interesting. We'll, we'll just see how it plays out, man. I'm we'll just see. saying in general, that you think about it. That, that could be looming. Could that be looming over these guys' heads? That the former champions are coming back? Could that screw them up, you know, mentally going into this match? They Possibly. have their focus set on this. And here comes the champ right here, the guy that I had worked with, the guy that I am going to meet. Oh, by the way, I guess the main event already picked up. Tony Canoli versus Duke of Potato Bill. For the next nightmare? Yes. No title on the line. We also just got word from backstage management that we are going to have a six-man tag match. The NWO, the crazy Latinos in Rage, Taking on the Canadian Wrecking Crew, Trent Killer Chris, Jacobite James, and Kyle Merriman in the co-main event from the next TKWA Nightmare. Wow, that'll be one hell of a match. But we gotta give props here to Duke, man. Duke has been a outstanding champion, a real role model, if you will. Never has any problems signing autographs, taking pictures for the fans. He's a great representative of this company, and he's looking here to dominate tonight. I, you know, he, you know, I called him a paper champ, but in all reality, Duke is the champ. He's not a paper champ. He is the champ. He is the man. He is the number one representative of the company right now because he's holding that title. Yep. And he's done a great job. You know, it's crazy. And, you know, Father Jay, I got to give a shout-out to my partner. Honestly, I didn't get a chance to talk to him because, I, you know, they wanted me to go get checked to make sure I could come out here. Hold on. Father Jay, thank you so much. The buzzer. Thank Justin so Guilford, thank you very much for the follow on TKWA. We are at the main event, folks. And we're going to book one more match for Nightmare. It's going to be the show opener. We're going to have a triple threat for the Fight and Honor champion, Abomination, Kyle Merriam, and Father J. Oh, wow. That'll be one hell of a match. That's going to be balls to the wall. And I want to, we're going to open it with that. So make sure you're there for the next nightmare because title is on the line, baby. Hell yeah. Well, main now, event what? set. That's what it's for, folks. Both titles. Somebody's walking out the double champ here tonight. This is it right here. This is the main event. This is what everything's for grabs. Bell is sounded. Oh, showtime going right after Chris Reese. Duke ducked it. Duke got an arm lock of his own. Slapped the showtime in the back of the head. Iris whip missing with that kick. Showtime taking advantage. 
Back body drop by Showtime Shane Black. Hit Chris Reese again. You know, I gotta ask, does Showtime Shane Black at the advantage? You've seen the videos of his past in-ring work. He is a veteran in the wrestling world. Many years experience in the wrestling business and it shows. But you, you, know, can't, discount, you know. can't discount Talk Soup. He just landed well, that springboard kick with ease. You guys don't know, Showtime Shane Black is also one of our trainers out back teaching the guys the moves. No. A head trainer in the back as well. Chris Reese going after the world champion, slamming him down. Man, that was an Alabama slammer. Yep. I'm dragged by Showtime Shane Black. Big clothesline taking Reese off his feet. Showtime hitting that Luthez press. Following up with some shots to the head. So much turmoil between all three of these guys. Big kick landing to Showtime Shane Black. Chris what? Reese is the only man standing. Ooh, Reese with that kick to the side of the head knocking Showtime down. Duke with the atomic drop. Duke hitting those elbows. Shane going after Duke. This is a falls count anywhere match, folks. So anything goes, pinfalls anywhere. Yep. Big slam by Showtime Shane Black. He's eyeing up Chris Reese. He wants to extract his revenge against Chris Reese for screwing him out of the world title in the first place. Big spine buster landing by Talk Soup. There goes our champ right down the Duke with the arm. But Reese is fighting out of it. Duke with the back elbow to the shoulder. Could separate a shoulder that way, Tins. Oh, he's got that cross face. He's trying to tap out Talk Soup. Showtime Shane kicks it. Out, kicks it. Boy, I feel like... Reese is really focused on Duke. Yeah. And Shane's Shane really focused on Talk Soup. Driving that knee into the back of the head. Showtime Shane Black, a well-rounded veteran of this game. Showing it with those perfect moves he does. Duke, I don't know if that's smart, going for the cover in front of Shane. Shane just picking his spots here. Clothesline missing. Big back suplex on Duke. Shane going for Reese. Ooh, kick. Another kick. Just kicking Reese down. Irish whip Showtime's off the fire. ropes. Hitting those knees. Using every square inch of the ring. Russian leg sweep landing by Showtime Shane Black. What a match. What a match. You folks are watching TKWA Battle Mania 2. We thank you for joining us here today. Don't Biggest show of the for... year. Well, don't forget, we gotta give a shout out to our sponsor, Juju Energy. Hell yeah. In ya. We got the link to Juju Energy. Get 10% off your order when you use the promo code TKWA. Showtime toss and talk soup out of the ring. Oh, missing with that elbow drop. Shane got a little over cockiness. Let's see what happens. Your pay. Chris Stanny's catching some of his wind. He's a little out of it. Oh, shoot. Remember, guys, pinfalls do count out here. Pinfalls Stanny. anywhere. Yes. Shane, it looks like uh, Duke and Talk Soup were working together for a second there. Yes, indeed. Oh, that, that is no give to that ramp. I didn't pay the guys to put extra support in that ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're here with me after taking that 25-foot fall off the hell in the cell. That's crazy. I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow after the adrenaline wears off. Yeah. Irish oh, whip man. by Talk Soup. Freaking cameraman there, kind of in the way of that platform. 
I'm gonna have to get some painkillers on the dock when I leave. <laughs> ah, man. Stand, look at look at Chris Reese standing tall over both champions. Could this be a preview of what's to come? Talk suit driving those shots into Shane Black. Damn, he's just going off on him. And anything goes. The ref cannot step in. Yeah. Big European uppercut by Showtime Shane Black. Side backbreaker. Holy mother. Ooh, Ooh, big, big kick, kick to the face. Follows up with Chris Stanny. And suplex him right on top of Talk Soup Gaming. Now wow. I command thee to embrace the darkness. Wow. I Fireman's carry awesome. by by the Duke. This match has been amazing. So far, so good. Duke going for a cover. One count only. They exchange shots. Talk suit getting back into the mix of things. That was nuts, man. What a show. What a match. So much uh, competition between these three. These three want to be the best that TKWA has to offer. Better than all the rest. Simply the best. Well, Tina Turner. Well, Shane uh, whipping Duke till he falls. He's turning his attention on Talk Soup Gaming like he said he would. Oh, big super kick to the head. He could go for the it? cover right now. Is that going to be it? Nope, he's focused on, on Duke right now. These two men have been tag team partners. They have helped each other train. They have coached each other on promos. There is a uh, mutual respect between Showtime Shane Black and Chris Stanny. Showtime grabbing that kendo stick and nailing Chris Stanny with it. It's about to get mutual with a stick. You catch my drift. Can't really see the action here. Let us move us a little bit. Talk suit back to his feet. He races to the ring. What's Showtime going to do suplex. here? Snap Snoop Suplex. Big scoop slam by Showtime Shane Black. Got both men reeling right now. And he hits that Brain Buster DDT. Is this going to be it? Is he going to go for it? No, he wants to add more punishment. He wants to punish these two competitors. His time. His a, li time. a little for the Duke, a little for Talk Soup. Mm -hmm. Showtime. Standing above them both. What's he going to do here? Irish whip sending Duke outside to the ring. Showtime following him to the outside of the ring. Irish whipped against the barrier. Landing big shots in the corner there. Talk Soup struggling to get to his feet. Man, this match is so chaotic. It's one minute. Ping, 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 ping. Everywhere. Shane is just taking it. Shane is fighting with his life. Yeah, high. Shane is on a whole new level here. Oh, but Duke coming in there with that neck breaker. These two trying to slow down Showtime Shane Black. We got Jermaine over on YouTube. What up, Jermaine? Goes for the cover, but Duke wisely breaks up the pin. What up, New Yorker? Yo, what's up, buddy? Oh, Stanny with freaking Reese's head. Now his knee. He's working over the body parts. I don't think these guys will be the same after this match. I really don't. 
Back body drop by Talk Soup. Showtime back in the ring. It's that swinging neck breaker. A lot of back and forth action here. Showtime with that Braid Buster DDT again. He's just punishing Chris Reese. Yeah, he majorly is. Showtime's going out. What is he looking for? Oh, he's playing into the crowd. Oh, Duke Wesley going for the cover. Two count, Shane breaking it up. That's how quick it can be over. Showtime can't take the time to gloat. He needs to focus. He's got two mm -hmm. game competitors in there that can win at any minute. Chris Reese locking in a submission, but Duke wisely breaking it up. Irish whip off to the ropes, sending talk suit game into the outside. Yeah, New York, is, it's pretty busy right now, brother. If you're trying to holler us on Facebook, we'll get back to you. Duke! Oh, shit, Danny. That's it. Oh, kick it out. How did Showtime Shane Black kick out of that? How? Oh, he busts open Chris Daddy. He dug deep to get out of that, man. I'll tell you that right now. He yep. dug. He dug. He took everything in his gut and dug deep. He had to he's dig deep. He's working that kendo stick against the champion, Duke. Oh, Chris Reese. Oh, oh, Chris Reese busted open. Showtime Shade Black he extracting like some of that revenge. Did you see him swing that like a baseball bat? Oh, I did. That had violent intentions written all over it. Snap yeah, suplex. Wow. What a show. What a match from all three of these competitors. Showtime. Oh, with that brain buster. Third time hitting that on Chris Reese. A little smashy, smashy. <laughs> His brain might be busted after that one. Showtime working out of it. Oh, hitting the super kick. That's it. Cover him. Cover him. What's he doing, Tony? I don't know. Is he overthinking? Is he too excited to get the pin? I think he's what overthinking it. He knocked out the Duke. And he follows oh, up me. another show stealer super kick. He passes out an exhaustion. Two. Three. New champ. New champ. Showtime. Shane Black super kicking both men. And pinning Chris Reese, winning both titles for the second year in a row. Showtime Shane Black has won the main event, walking out with the TKWA world title and the title of Mr. Battle Mania, Showtime Shane Black, yes, your new double champion. Your new double champion. Wow. Showtime Shane Black. What a match. Mr. Battle Mania. That is a title of its own. Wow. Holy shit. I'm in shock, Tony. Showtime Shane Black. Your new double champion. Raining high in on that mountaintop once again in TKWA. Wow, Tony. Wow. He matched it. What a show from all of everybody. It was crazy. This was awesome. Overall, great show. Wow. Thank you, everybody that came by. Thank you to all the superstars that took time and did the promos. And once again, thank you, TKWA Universe. Thank you, my co-host, Tits. McGee. Hell yeah, thank hey you to Tony Cannoli. Despite his 25 foot fall, he still come back and called the main event. Hell yeah, Tony. What a show. Thank you. What a show. We are going to announce the next TKWA Nightmare card in about a week or two. We're going to sign some new people to TKWA. 
Shit is taking off for TKWA. We want to thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank our sponsor, Juju Energy. And thank you very much to our roster and their contributions to this page. Thank you very much, Tony. Nice. Say good night, Tony. Good night, Tony. Dropping loads.